Good morning everyone, myself Murli Zarede. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to build and deploy to Tomcat using Jenkins file. Earlier video, we have uh, directly defined all the steps inside the Jenkins job, right? Instead of that one, we can declare every step in inside Jenkins file and we can build it, okay? We can store that particular Jenkins file inside the Bitbucket and we can store it. Let's see the demo. Example, earlier we have already created one job. That job name is build and deploy to Tomcat. We have every script we have declared inside the Jenkins job only. What is the main drawback of uh, defining here? For example, I made some changes here. Okay, example, I made some changes here. Okay, I saved it. So how do we identify who had changed and uh, what changes done? Okay, we can't identify it right? and also we can't revert back also, right? If you store directly that particular script inside, inside, directly if you declare the steps inside this particular Jenkins job. Instead of that one, the recommended way is you have to declare the entire script inside Jenkins file, okay, inside particular Bitbucket, then we can call that particular file. What I'm doing here, copy this entire one and go to here. We have a build and deploy to Tomcat, right? Create a one file, create a new file. Here I'm giving file name is Jenkins file, okay? File name is, I'm giving Jenkins file. I'm keeping all script here. Now I'm adding here, commit file. Now I have posted everything inside the Jenkins file. Now we can call this file inside the Jenkins job. What I'm doing here, here we have option, pipeline script from SCM. SCM is nothing but source code management, okay? Select this one. Now here we have SCM, right? Select that, uh, what type of we are going to use? We are going to use Git, right? Select the gate, okay? Here you have to give the, provide the repository URL. What is the URL? We have this URL, right? Copy this URL, okay? Paste here and the next one credentials. What are the credentials? We have to provide the GitHub credentials and uh, which branch it is a master, right? You can keep it master. And here, very important script path. This is the Jenkins file where it is available. That particular Jenkins file it is available in main file only, right? Main inside the particular main directory only, right? So you can keep it same in case this Jenkins file is available in different location. You have to give the full path here, but it is available main only. That is the reason we can directly give this particular Jenkins file here. Okay, got it right? Now apply, save. Now what I'm doing here, I'm build the now. Okay, what will happen? Let's see. If you build now, it will be work. The reason is, it will be in, it will be read this Jenkins file and it will be build step-by-step -step process will be run. If you observe here, we have created a Jenkins file also, it will be run step-by-step. -step. First, it will be clone the repository, then it will be install, clean and install, then it will be deployed to Tomcat. If you observe here, it is deployed. Now I'm seeing here, if you see here, step by step process, we are able to see, right? If you see this build, now we are able to see. Okay. First, it check out the code. Okay. Then install, then clone the repository, then build the code. Okay. Then deploy to Tomcat. Okay. Instead of de defining all the steps, uh, stages inside the Jenkins job, we can define inside the Bitbucket and we can call it that particular file there. Example, if I made some changes here. Okay, example I'm going to do here, build the, I'm giving here extra code, build the Mavic code, okay? See, here I have added and committed. In case if I did some mistake here, I have an option to revert back, right? We can go to the particular commit and we can revert back the particular changes, right? Okay, if you, here also you can see what are the changes I did. If you declare inside the big bucket, the particular Jenkins file. In case if you declare everything inside the Jenkins job, what will happen? If you made changes also, we can't, uh, understand who made changes what 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 you did the changes okay how do we we can't revert back also right that is the main drawback if we declare inside the job level remember in real time we always we always create the jenkins file the particular repository then we call it the particular jenkins file inside the job level okay and interview level also they will ask sometimes whether they will be test you whether you are you work with the particular jenkins file concept or not hey you, you have a project, okay? Where do you storing your project? I mean, the Jenkins file. Whether you are storing the Jenkins file inside Bitbucket or you are directly declaring all the steps inside the Jenkins job. Okay, this type of question, they may ask questions also, okay? And remember again and again telling, if you're aware of Jenkins topics, if you're not aware of Jenkins pipeline, you never, never, never clear the interview. If you go to any interview, if they come to the Jenkins concept, 
they will ask only related to Jenkins pipeline. Have you worked on Jenkins pipeline? Have written the Jenkins file? If you written, what are the steps you have written? Can you please explain your project? Okay, got it right? This is a very important. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next video.